Hi, I am Miles Cup, an instructor with South Coast Swords, and today we're going to bring you another unboxing video. This one will be a little bit different because unlike our Pro Gauntlet unboxing video, we won't be unboxing HEMA equipment. We're going to be unboxing, in a sense, HEMA itself. Inside this box are a stack of Tallhofer facsimiles produced by the Wichtenauer, uh, care of Michael Chittister. Uh, we're going to talk about the details of the facsimile in just a little bit, but for now, let's get right on into opening the box because I have been waiting for these for a long, long time. Since last year, when the fundraising campaign was announced, and completed successfully, we were able to fund the creation of facsimiles of the Tallhofer 1459 Tote Manuscript. So let's keep going with our opening up here. I think we want to get that end there cut open like so. And we're already starting to catch our first glimpse of the facsimiles. Let's get them out of there. Let's get the first one. We have quite a few in here. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Would you look at that? You know what, let me take these off really quick. I forgot I was wearing them and let's dive into the facsimile. So now that we've taken all the facsimiles out of the box, let's take a look inside. But before we do, I want to explain a little bit about why I'm so excited. Owning a medieval manuscript facsimile is something that's usually very difficult to do. Facsimiles are often very expensive. The purpose of this particular effort by the Wichtenauer and Mike Chittister was to create a facsimile that is almost as good as the original as you can get for a reasonable price. Let's start by looking at the cover. And you can see that it's been embossed with very ornate detailing on this leather cover. The side cover with the gold lettering is absolutely beautiful. The back cover has the same leather bossing and detailing book has a good weight in the hand. It feels like it has the sort of presence you would expect from like a medieval spell book of some kinds. And in a few ways you can think of the Tallhofer 1459 as being a little bit like a spell book and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So now that we've taken in the cover a little bit and judged the book by that quality, let's take a look inside and see what it actually looks like. The moment of truth. Does the facsimile live up to what we would expect? And I, <laughs> I have to say, my expectations are being met right here with this. Look at the colors. Even just the way that the, the pages feel as I'm turning them. Wow. And there is the medieval diving suit. We'll talk about that. Let's turn to some of the combat sections. Look at how vivid the colors are, the, the presence that the figures have in the treatise. And we can see how the details have come through in the facsimile. You can see the individual lines of each one of the rivets in the male under armor. You can see the the creases in the, the plate, you can see the lines in the faces, all the details that you would want to see in a reproduction of this manuscript are coming through in the pages. Even down to the details of the, of the ink bleed through, through the pages, you can see the image of the page on the other side has been reproduced as well in the facsimile. Now, of course, that wouldn't be necessarily a desirable quality in a modern book, but in an original book, it adds to the character of the history of the book. All the years that it's been through sitting on a shelf and the time through which it has traveled to come down to us is apparent when you're looking at this modern reproduction of the manuscript. 
So after unboxing the Tallhofer facsimile, I cannot wait to delve deeper into it and explore the history of this manuscript and more of the secrets that it has to share with us. But before I go, I want to let everybody know that there is an Indiegogo campaign happening right now to create facsimiles of the Getty Fiore. I am completely unaffiliated with the campaign. I just want to share with everybody that it is happening right now. So if you want to get a facsimile of the Getty Fiore, go and donate to the campaign. Link is in the description. And as a bonus, if you are a latecomer to the Tallhofer facsimile and you'd like to get a copy of your own, there are copies of the Tallhofer facsimile available as an extra perk that you can buy through the Indiegogo fundraising campaign. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.